Have you ever heard that there is sawdust in your grated Parmesan cheese? Well, is there any truth to that? So the story broke out a few years ago when somebody was testing multiple brands of Parmesan cheese and found out that some of them contained up to 10% cellulose. It may have not been that big of a deal other than some of the labels said that they were 100% Parmesan cheese. So you may wonder, what's cellulose doing in my cheese in the first place? Well, cellulose is an excellent anti-caking agent, meaning that the cheese in here is not going to turn into a block inside this container. As such, it's also used in containers of shredded cheese and in ground spices. The problem is, to be an effective anti-caking agent, it only needs to be about 1-3% to by volume of this container of cheese. What the businesses were trying to do was replace more of the expensive Parmesan cheese with less expensive cellulose, essentially adding filler to the container in the sake of making profit. Ironically, the ice cream industry does the exact same thing. The ice cream industry has found out that you can remove expensive milk fat and replace it with cellulose and it still allows them to whip in a sufficient amount of air into the ice cream such that it feels like ice cream should on your tongue. Cellulose itself is a polysaccharide consisting of several hundred to several thousand glucose molecules all linked together in a chain. You may notice that glucose is one of several sugars that your body can digest and turn into chemical energy to run your cells in your body. However, cellulose itself is not digestible by humans. Therefore, it is actually what we consider a dietary fiber. That creates yet another use for cellulose. Cellulose is a very cheap and effective way to increase fiber content of foods and the health food industry loves it because they can add bulk to food without adding extra calories. So now that you know that cellulose has many, many uses in the food industry, you may wonder where does this cellulose come from? How is it manufactured? It's not unreasonable to think that cellulose is going to be manufactured in a lab, but that is not exactly how it's done. So if we're not manufacturing it in a lab, we have to find a source in nature. Cellulose, along with lignin, just happen to be the two main ingredients in cell walls of all plants. That means cellulose is found in great abundance in all plant matter. So now that we know that it's in all plant matter, there's all kinds of sources that we could get cellulose from. I could get it from an ear of corn, or I could get it from a grain of wheat, but that doesn't make much sense to turn foods that we eat into a product that is used as a food additive. Well, okay, if I'm not gonna turn the ear of corn or the kernel of wheat into cellulose, what about the corn stalk or the rest of the wheat plant? Well, those already have uses too. Those are used in feedstock to feed livestock that we eat and consume in the meat industry. So most of the plants that we farm and cultivate for food sources are being used for other purposes. We need to find another economical source for cellulose. Well, since we know that cellulose comes in all plants, what about the lumber industry? The lumber industry is extremely wasteful. Most branches and small trees are not big enough to make useful lumber out of and in the process of turning logs into boards there is a massive amount of sawdust created and now you can see where this is going that yes we can extract cellulose from lumber 
There are multiple methods out there to extract cellulose from wood products, but the most common one is what they call the craft pulping process. And the craft pulping process involves turning lumber into sawdust and mixing it in a solution that contains sodium sulfide and sodium hydroxide. This chemical solution eats away at the lignin, but it does not touch the cellulose in the cell walls. To speed this reaction along, it is typically done at elevated temperature and pressure. And once the chemical reaction is done, all you have to do is rinse away the chemical solution and you are left with about 97% pure cellulose that can be used in all the food products that we eat and consume every day. So back to the original question of, is there sawdust in this container of Parmesan cheese? In some ways you can argue that yes, yes, the cellulose that is used as an anti-caking agent was made from wood pulp or sawdust. On the other hand, you could say, well, you know, it's not technically still wood, so maybe the answer is false. But now you know the facts, and I'll let you make the ultimate decision. That's it for this episode. As always, stay curious.